Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Justin. Today on my Z Force 950 Sport, we are going to be installing a set of Pro Armor harnesses. point H style harness. They are the two inch harnesses. I ordered these off of Amazon. It cost me about 150 bucks, I think. I'll leave a link in the description below to the exact ones I bought. They were here in like two days. So I've never installed harnesses before in a side by side. Uh, my riding style is typically not super wild and crazy, but I know that we go into a few different places this year and we'll be doing some stuff down at Maumee. I've not really thought about sticking the Z950 in a couple races. If that's the case, I'm gonna have to have them. I figure they are safer than just the normal seat belts. And honestly, these seat belts kind of cut into my neck sometimes. I really think this will be a cool upgrade and a good addition to what I've already built. You're gonna learn how to do this with me today. Hopefully Pro Armor has made this simple and easy. Doesn't look like it'd be too difficult. Concept is fairly simple, so I think I got it. Let's grab some B-roll of these and get them installed. See what comes in the box. Looks like it's paper with a big giant warning on the front. This talks about different installation styles, shows you the right way and the wrong way. Looks like a bit of information. I'm sure that's some sort of regulation thing or legal thing. Okay, here's the actual harness. Just right off the bat, I can tell you this is very heavy, which I'm sure means it's good quality. It's very well put together it feels really nice pads feel these pads are super soft and feel really really good so this i believe is the emergency light um, that fits yeah that'll fit in one of the pockets on the harness pro armor sticker some silica packs and seat belt installation guide shoulder belt angle double shoulder belt talks about lap belts Five point, six point, seventh point. I don't know. Probably not gonna use those. All right, let's head uh, inside. Let's get the seat out and figure out where we are going to mount all the different mounting points for this harness. Okay, in order to get the seat out, there is a latch back here in the open area behind where your butt goes. Lift that up, pull the seat up, and then just slide the front part back and set it out of your way. Okay, so the bottom part, let's get in here now. So the inside harness, the bottom will bolt right where the seat belt buckle bolts down there. So we'll have to, I'm guessing probably remove this plastic. I might be able to get up underneath there, but I don't think so. This piece looks super easy to remove. One, two, three, four, five push pins. And that piece should come out. The other side will mount right down there where the bottom part of the seat belt mounts. As for the top, the inside will mount on one of these roll bars here. 
the outside, the way this bend is in this bar, get it to focus. The way this bend is right here in this bar, I'm assuming that the vibration and stuff would make a harness strap roll around here. Maybe not, I could be completely wrong because this is kind of at an upward angle. But the other thought I had was right here, mount it where the seat belt is already mounted. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe try it in both positions and see which one works better. But for right now, let's get this piece right here out, get at least the bottom parts installed and then we'll work on the top. Okay, so this tool right here is a push pin puller. And um, man, this makes your life way easier to work on these. Uh, I got this at Napa, I think, and it was uh, not cheap. But as much work as I do to this, it's made my life a whole heck of a lot easier. The nice thing about this push pin puller as well is it doesn't, uh, it doesn't damage or tear up the top of your push pins. Um, I know a lot of the, the wire snips and stuff, like the wire snips will work, but, and see so just like that, bam, this piece is out. And we got pretty good access down there. The bolts down here on the bottom, Seat belts are 14 millimeter. Same at the top. We'll start off with the seat belt one first, and then we'll move over to the buckle side. And there's a nut on the back side of this we're gonna have to grab onto and hold. Um, gee, so this back side nut is actually a 19 millimeter. Goodness gracious. And there's enough space down here between the body panel. I just can't see. All right, now my only concern concern is going to be where is this nut back here going to fall to so uh, i'm just going to put my hand back here and try to hold on to it so this minus a few washers that fell down that i'm going to have to find is what holds the bottom part of the seat belt on let me find these washers real quick and then uh, we'll install this uh outer side on the passenger side okay so this is the outside harness we're going to start with it i'm kind of glad we are we'll start with the base here is gonna mount right here just like this. The way this part comes over top, doesn't kink or bend or anything like that. So we're just gonna put back in the same hardware that we took out. This part's probably gonna be pretty difficult just because uh, I haven't taken this panel off because I don't wanna do all that. So we're gonna start it here and I may have to do this like one thing at a time. Lock washer on there. Okay, so once you have that in there, 19 millimeter on the back. <clears throat> Tighten down the front. And the bottom part of the first harness is installed. So now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna undo this. All right, I'm gonna take this ring off here. Once we have that ring off, I'm actually going to pull this through. I'm going underneath and over top, and then we'll feed this back through. And uh, I'm just going to leave it kind of loose right now so I can put the seat in and uh, just test exactly where it needs to go. I mean, I'm sure all this is going to need to be adjusted somehow. Uh, we've got this side partly on. Let's work on getting the other side on, and um, then we'll get the seat back in. Sit down, see how it feels, adjust what needs to be adjusted, and uh, then we'll be ready to go. Okay, one thing I do want to talk about, like we have been, is the Mud Tracks products. So this here is our Inferno to go. Same properties as our Inferno wash in a easy, ready to use, quick cleaning spray that is trail ready, man. Take it out there and or if you're at, at a show and you get finished riding and you want to clean I, I mainly came up for this because i don't like to spray the inside of my side by side with the foam cannon obviously i know you can i just don't like to do that so we made this awesome wash product in a easy ready to go spray and it is rinseless you don't need water just that easy, spray it on, wipe it off, and bam. You are clean, clean, clean. Now let's get this bottom buckle out here. Same sizes as 
the other ones. I'm not gonna lie, there is no comfortable, easy way to do this. Let's get the nut off. There's a lock washer on the back side. And then uh, there's no uh, washer or anything that I see on the front side. Um, take this completely out and uh, let's grab the let's grab the other side here. We're just gonna kind of drape over the back for right now. Bottom part will fit in just like so. And you'll just feed your bolt through there, feed it through the back, put your lock washer on, tighten your nut down. I like to just get stuff hand tight and then go back and tighten it. So once you have that set where you want it, grab your tools, tighten her down. All right, get her good and tight. Go ahead and uh, get this piece back on here and uh, then we'll secure the top. Okay, so for the top, I'm probably, aim. I don't think I'm gonna have to take the, loosen the window at all. So we're gonna do the same thing. Take this mount off and we're gonna feed it the same way right up underneath. We're gonna feed this through here. All right, let's put our seat in and get them positioned to where we want them. And then uh, we're done with the passenger side. Okay, so one thing that we are gonna have to do is we're gonna have to undo this part of the belt. Things on either side, you can push down and it will allow you to pull that through. Then you're gonna have to undo that side. And then it's gonna need to be fed up through this piece before this piece gets mounted back on. So let's, uh, now that we've got that fed through there, we'll get these push pins back in here, put the seat in, sit down and get it all together. Okay. seat back in here make sure your uh, your bar slides up underneath where it's supposed to make sure I don't have any tools or anything back there and then this is just gonna seat right back down into place and let's uh, check these things out this belt we're gonna have to feed back through here Get a little screwdriver through there and through that loop makes things much, much easier. Um, this still has all the tags and stuff on it, so. So this is gonna need to come down for sure. And this side over here is gonna need to come up a little bit. So right there, I think it's pretty good for this side. I think about right there is probably pretty good for that side. Now the bottom part, connect those and put those together. It does have a little Velcro on the end of this tag so it doesn't accidentally get pulled. Then you just pull on these sides. I don't know that I pulled that one that far. You want this part to be in the middle as much as possible. So yeah, I think maybe just tighten these up a little bit and good to go. Good to go. And there you have it. inch four point harnesses installed in the Z Force 950. They were super simple to do. Really honestly what takes the most time is just 
I mean, there's really nothing that takes very much time. It didn't take me much time at all. So still got to uh, tighten these and button these up a little bit, but uh, they're, they're installed and they are there. Again, I cannot thank you guys enough for watching, for all the comments and the likes and the subscribers and the interactions, man. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys so much. I love this machine. I love making videos. I love making videos about this machine. And uh, I love being able to share that with you. I love the camaraderie that uh, I've been able to build and the community that we have and that we're creating. I, I just can't thank you guys enough. Don't forget we've got the Mud Militia lifestyle brand, the clothing line, hats, flip flops, sweatpants, all kinds of stuff. Make sure you guys check that out at themudmilitia.com. The link is down in the description. Use the code Justin and you can get 20% off your entire order. Something special that we're doing for launch. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, uh, leave me a comment down below and uh, we will see you in the next video.